Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Click Plus real-time clock. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there'll be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There'll be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Now the real-time clock on the Click Plus can now be more accurate. A network time service or NTP or SNTP has been added to the Click Plus controller. This will allow the time to be synchronized with an uh, ether, or internet time service or local network. Daylight savings time is quickly implemented with just a memory retentive bit that we can turn on and off based on the time change in the area. Now we're going to be demonstrating the network time service on our Click Plus and the real time clock RTC will be updated via the internet time service and daylight savings time and the real time clock will also be programmed. This will be based on our previous real time clock post that we did for the click series that you'll see a link in the description below. So up on my screen here, we have our click programming software. Currently right now we're at version 3.01. And if we go to the um, two different ways to get into our, uh, where we're trying to go to, the first one is we go to under setup, under CPU, and we can select the network time service. The other way to get to the uh, Click Plus network time service is to go through the um, actual uh, setup. And then we go to the network time service right here. Once we do, what you'll see is that we actually have um, an option up the top. We actually enable it first. Then we can set the port, the port that we have on here. In this particular case, I'm using the um, the Wi-Fi um, LAN port, which is on the Click Plus um, on the uh, C2-03 CPU unit. And we have the preferred host, which is the time.nist.gov. And our alternative address for that, and we just use one of the IP addresses for this same website. Now you don't have to use an alternative or you could use a completely separate one if you wish. Then we do a synchronized time. So when the PLC powers up and, and enabled communication, it automatically will pull and update the time um, to the correct time. Then we have our time zone offset. So we're using the US Eastern Standard. So it's a minus five hours. Then we also have our system addresses here. We have SC120, which is a network time request. So we can actually request to say, go out and update the time right now. We also have our uh, SC121, which is a network time DSN or daylight savings time. So when this is energized, we add an hour. When it um, is off or, or reset, we uh, keep at the same time. Then we have SC122 network time processing. So it just tells us that there's something going on. We're, we're actually requested the time to be updated. And then this one comes back if there's any errors with that update service. So that's all there is to it. That's how we do it. And so we'll just hit okay there. And then what we can do is we can call up the real time clock on our uh, data view. And when we do, here's what it looks like. So currently right now, um, we have the network off, okay? So we haven't requested anything. And here's the year, month, day, hour, minute, second. So we're gonna turn this one on. And when we do, um, you'll see that this one will quickly turn on and then off again, if everything's working correctly. So there we go, see that one turns on. And so we're now we're at uh, the request has been done and then it will turn off and we have the set value. So that's all. That's as easy as it uh, gets for uh, setting up our real time clock with our internet. Okay, so let's uh, just minimize that one. And what we'll do now is go to our daylight savings time. So here in our daylight savings time routine, you can see here that we're looking for the um, the month being um, the third month, less than seven. 
So the first week, and then we're looking for the day. It has to be less than 15, so the set, uh, sorry, second second day. Then the day, so just like we, we want it, and then we have the real, the Sunday, and then the hour or two, and then we can set our real time clock. So let's go to um, and set that manually. So we'll go to PLC, calendar clock adjustment. And on our adjustment, what we will do is change this date and we will actually say it's going to be March. And we're going to put in March 14th, which is the second Sunday. And our time, we're going to put in 1.59. And we'll put uh, 55. So we'll allow for five seconds. And then we'll write that to the PLC. So once we wrote that to the PLC, it automatically, after five seconds, you'll see that daylight savings time comes on. And now we're on daylight savings time, which is now the correct time. So if we call back our data view, and you can see here that our daylight savings time is now on. So even if we activate our network service time again, then you will still see that um, the daylight savings time will still stay on until we reset it. So in order to reset that, what we'll do is call up our uh, calendar clock adjustment again, do the manual setting again, and we're going to go now select November. And it's going to be November 7th, which is the first Sunday. And again, we'll select um, 1.59 and 55 seconds again we'll wait five seconds write that in close this and then once that hits we hit the reset which is exactly what happened so now we reset that uh, daylight savings time so again very simple to implement this uh, real-time clock next what we have is the real-time clock an actual an actual example and what we do is we We'll activate Y1 from Monday to Friday from noon until 1 p.m. We'll activate a, like a lunchroom as an example. So this is the same example we did before in our click, or click series of controllers on the real time clock. So it basically demonstrates your bits here. So here we have to have the real time clock day of the week. So we have to be greater than one and we have to be less than seven. So we know that we are Monday to Friday. Then our hour, we're just looking for 12 o'clock. So it's gonna be 12 o'clock to um, um, the full length of 12 o'clock. And then that'll be on, and then our output here will turn on. So before we do that, I'm just gonna show you that we do have our hardware right here that we are communicating to. It's right here. And you can see that we have our uh, click plus PLC right here, and we are like we said we're condemns or we're communicating Wi-Fi here and then we're also um, Have our expansion card C2-08 DR 4 VC Which is our voltage or analog in and out and we also have some digital IO We are communicating through our programming software through our uh, Ethernet port right here and so that's it so well let's uh, try this program out now and we'll just hit the calendar clock and let's just say we're going to change this now and we will say it is the 31st and we'll we're going to go 11 59 and we'll go 55 write that in and as soon as we get to the five seconds, that'll turn on. And then we have our output on here, which we also see on our actual controller turn on. So everything's working fine. Then what we'll do is modify that time again. And we will put in that it's going to be 12, um, 50, 
59, 55. And we'll write that. And close that. So once it goes to one, it actually turns it off, which is exactly what it does. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.